I want to welcome everyone to Assume the Position. I like that title. <laughs> and this is going to be a different way to look at history. Tolstoy said, history is a wonderful thing if only it were true. In, in the first Assume the Position, I make a joke about, I refer to uh, uh, we the people of the United States in order to form a more perfect union. And I say, uh, uh, more perfect, and I made a joke about more perfect. And I say, there's no such thing as more perfect. You know, you're either perfect or you're not. So right off the bat, we were, you know, the, the country is built upon a grammatical fuck up. And, uh, but in fairness, it's a pretty great poetic phrase, more perfect. See, they knew enough. They knew enough to that it is organic that it is going to change. The country is going to evolve. The founding fathers, who people tend to agree are pretty smart guys, knew enough to change the damn thing. You know, it, it was, you know, they amended it, you know, it, like the, the first, you know, the, the, you know, they amended it like 10 times in the first, what, 20 years, 30 years? And then you've had about, we have had like, we've had two since like, two or three since the Civil War. I mean, and the country in that period, in the last 150 years, I would say the country's changed a little bit. Socioeconomically, just the makeup of the country, the vast immigrants, the different cultures, technology, everything else. And yet, the only ones we have were basically women get the right to vote. Uh, you can drink, you can't drink, which really doesn't affect the Constitution of, I mean, laws per se. And then you had uh, when a, what happens when a president is incapacitated. And because of Roosevelt, um, the Republicans, you know, pushed through only a two-term presidential limit, which probably has worked against them. If they had to do that one again, they probably might have done, you know, changed that one around. But, I mean, that's the only changes. That really is the only ch basic changes. I mean, the NFL changes 10, year, 10 rules a year. There are different things you could change, you know. I, I would like to see, you know, they knew enough to change it. And, by the way, they didn't change the fact of slavery. You know, they didn't change the fact that women couldn't vote. You know, they didn't change, you know, so I'm not opposed to change. <laughs> it really hasn't changed because the, the game hasn't changed. The document that we all work on hasn't changed. Today, I am going to assume the position that history is based on a true story. <laughs> are these founding fathers? Are they the common man? Are they the working man? Hell no. They're rich white men that didn't want to pay taxes. Boy, how things have changed. <laughs> it's total fiction. Yet how did our grandparents learn this? We learn this? Our grandchildren are probably going to learn this. How come? Because history is pop culture. So assume the position that pop culture is history. A hundred years from now, when the Longfellow or the uh, Irving of 2105 decides he wants to tell history his way, history may very well show that Al Gore did invent the Internet. <laughs>